the fires of January 2020, they just created a huge loss in biodiversity and the natural landscape has changed immensely. We always knew the weeds were going to be an issue after, after the bushfires due to the lack of ground cover. We're particularly concerned about weeds that may have come in from plant and machinery that have come in from all around the state to help us fight the fires. And they, I guess they access those containment lines which were disturbed areas um, and potentially could have brought weeds that we don't currently have in the area. So they've been a big concern to us. So we, we've been actively out there inspecting for new weed incursions. The council has, has been trying to assist uh, fire affected landowners um, across the Monero, helping people identify weeds that might pop up on, uh, on their property, something they haven't seen before, and help them figure out a bit of a, a control strategy. The ones we really are concerned about are the ones that have a big impact on the economy, um, the environment, the local community, and those being things like serrated tussie, African lovegrass, St John's wort, Post fire and with a really good wet season we have dozens of new weeds coming up so we have to use lots of different techniques from herbicides, from slashing, from hand pulling in our high quality areas and so what we're doing here is managing that to promote biodiversity. We've got to get on top of the weeds so we give every chance for the natural grasses, shrubs, forbs to re-establish. For people who aren't sure on what to do on their own properties the best thing they can do to start off is to get some advice from professional services such as the council weed officers or the local land services. So we're, we're always available to pick up the phone if people have any concerns about weeds or issues they'd like to raise. You can go to council's website, we've got quite a bit of material on there. We've got booklets that show you the, the priority weeds that we, we need people to learn how to identify and learn how to manage. So I think the message to people is to tap into all that help and um, don't, don't be shy, just get, get involved because there's a lot of help available. Well everyone's got a responsibility because we're changing the landscape through hot fires so we have to manage the country through fire prevention and through weed prevention to sustain a, an agriculture and just beyond the Monero. As landowners we all need to work together to, to control weeds across the community and across the region. That's the reason we're here because you know we, we like to preserve a little bit of Australia that's functioning like it should. It's one of my great pleasures in life.